Welcome to the program. Today I am featuring one of my talented friends who is an actor and a rap artist, Harmony. Harmony has been a featured guest and artist on KSLA, ABC, CBS, NBC, TBN Salsa, and Juice TV, and now today, Time with Teresa. Mm -hmm. And it's a pleasure to have him in the studio with me today. Please help me welcome Harmony. Amen. Amen. <laughs> welcome back, Harmony. Thank you. <laughs> this is actually our third episode together. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> and as long as you keep these projects coming and the Lord keeps using you and opening up doors, I know there's going to be more interviews mm, ahead. Most certainly. Well, just briefly, go ahead and share, uh, I know we've covered this on other episodes, but briefly mm -hmm. share your uh, personal and professional mm -hmm. background. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm a rap artist named uh, Harmony. Uh, my, uh, my real name is Dominic Von Senior. I was born and raised in the projects of Riverview in Elmira, New York, and born into a single parent home uh, to the mother of Teresa Michelle Von Senior. Uh, and I had a, have had a brother who also lived there. Both of our dads were absent. And we just had a life that was not centered around Christ. We had went off the path, and um, I really went off deep. And God ended up reeling me back in at the age of 22. After I had gotten out of incarceration, my mother had passed away from ca lung cancer uh, two weeks before I was released. My brother had taken me under his wing uh, to give me an opportunity to pick up the pieces of my life. And so at that time uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Lord had saved me. I cried out to him in a place of desperate uh, uh, need of something new. I was broken, I was shattered, and I needed God in my life. And I cried out to him, and he absolutely came down, saved me, turned my life around, and now I am a minister who evangelizes uh, the gospel and does music that inspires people to pursue and follow Christ. And uh, my gift and influence takes place in the realm of media, arts, and entertainment. Awesome. That's wonderful. Uh, well, now, Harmony, to begin with, you were independent, but now you've grown and you started getting managers. How has that helped elevate your projects and your talents? Oh, yeah, I have, uh, well, my manager, uh, I have a manager and then I have kind of like a co-manager <laughs> and they're both named Larry. <laughs> What the heck? It's amazing. Like, Reminds uh, me of a television show. <laughs> My name is what? Earl or Larry? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, Larry... Larry Locker is uh, my manager. He's the CEO of Christian Artists International, a wonderful, wonderful man. He has uh, been such a blessing in my life. He's been uh, able to get me many different opportunities to uh, to go out and to perform and to minister, um, and which we love. We don't just perform. It's never just about a performance to us ever. It's always primarily about the ministry, and then the, the music is really secondary. Uh, however, I do put ministry inside of my music, and so people do get ministry to. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, Larry Locker has just been a blessing. And recently in my life, in the last year, um, a partner who used to work with Larry Locker back in the day, uh, they used to do all kinds of stuff together, just amazing stuff with top celebrities like Michael Jackson and just Garth Brooks and I mean, all across the board. It's just a crazy. Um, uh, his name is Larry Ray. And so Larry Ray, he just, he is a blessing. Every time he calls me and talks to me, he's always got good news. He's always got encouragement, always inspiring me, trying so hard. He truly, truly believes in God's gifting and plan in my life. He is passionately trying to get open doors for me using his gifts and abilities so that I can tell the whole world about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, mm. that's wonderful. Yes. Uh, so there is a place for managers Love in them. the lives of artists. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. think, think it might be a lifeline. Okay, now, Harmony, we've got to talk about this music video that you've made that mm -hmm. shares your personal story called I Go Away. If I Go Away. Oh, sorry. If, if I, I Go, go Away. Yeah, it's okay. So tell us about that project. Yeah, If I Go Away is actually a combination of my story, I put some some scenes in there of things that I had felt and went through that actually depict real scenarios in my life. Uh, but If I Go Away is a story that basically talks about choices and consequences. There's a young man who was born and raised in a Christian home. And uh, there are many Christian parents, actually me and my son on the way here had had a talk about that, about there are Christian parents who have children who do not serve the Lord. 
they've been raised in a Christian home. They, they have seen God move and their parents have told them and taught them, but yet there comes a time when children make their own decision. And so uh, this story is about a child uh, who was young and had was raised in a, in, a, in a godly home, in a Christian environment, and he just really wanted to experience the world for himself. And so through peer pressure and different people at school, uh, as his life growing up, he decided that he was going to abandon the teachings of Christ and he was going to grip and grab onto the things of this world. Well, in the process of doing that, he got in some very, very deep trouble. And he ended up getting in trouble so bad that it really meant the a life or death for his family because mm -hmm. when you get into situations and not all situations you know that that are hard or um, result in danger are drug related there are many things but there are many nowadays situations where kids and teens are literally experimenting with drugs and different things that are are wiping them out I have friends that have died that their heart have exploded because of drugs and now I they they have no opportunity to come to Christ mm -hmm. and so you know uh, this song is is based on choices and consequences this young man abandoned the teachings in Christ he uh, he had a fiance that was pregnant and um, in the story uh, the young man got in trouble with some guys that he definitely owed a large amount of money and if he did not give that money at a time when he was supposed to give it they were going to not just kill him but they were going to kill his family all the little kids no matter how old they were one year Years old, two years old, they were going to the house and they were going to make sure that it was a slaughterhouse before they left. And so for me, I like I like to get real. I like to be cutting edge. I want, you know, it's not just a happy-go-lucky. It's not like that. People, we deal with real things. Mm -hmm. There are real people, life. I, real life. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you, me, I've been molested as a young child. A man dared to touch me mm -hmm. in, in places that he had no business going. And, and mm -hmm. you know, recently, within the last couple of years, I heard that he did that to many, many, many mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. I learned that there was a child rapist that lived next door to me that I didn't mm -hmm. even know lived there. And mm -hmm. I was hanging out with his kids, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's just Christians go through things. Uh, you know, there's been Christian. Just because you're a Christian does not mean you're absent from trials. You have trials. We have trials. And every Christian can stand arm to arm and tell the whole world in unity with one loud voice, we have trials. Mm -hmm. Because it's just <laughs> we live in a fallen world, Yeah. you know. And, yeah. Um, it's just crazy. Wow. So wow. So, so this is about real life based on a true story. Yeah. There's there is parts of my testimony that have been was engrafted in there. But then what I also did is I engrafted um, other stories too that uh, that I added parts and portions of that within that, like I'm doing with my next song, Memory Lane, coming up in the fall, okay. uh, going out and taking test, because my goal is to reach as many people as I can, mm -hmm. and not everybody has the same story. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, not all the time, uh, Against the Ropes is completely based on one story. Mm -hmm. um, but some of these other ones that I'm doing, they have parts and pieces of different people's right. stories Mixed and in grafted yeah. so that it reaches more people mm -hmm. and can relate to more people mm -hmm. in different ways. Mm -hmm. And I find that very successful uh, when, uh, you know, ministering to people and have gotten so much feedback, so many people of all ages, even kids in my hometown that I've been able to pray with at four or five in the mm -hmm. morning, uh, you know, based off this stuff. So God is good. God is good. Amen. Well, you just may find parts of your story in this video. Enjoy, If I Go Away. I'm 
I don't wanna be here anymore. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna be here. I just wanna leave, mama wanna come back home, and I promise I will do anything. Cause I hate it here and I don't wanna be here anymore. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna be here. I just wanna leave, mama wanna come back home, and I promise I will do anything. Cause I hate it here and I don't wanna be here anymore. Wow, now that video was powerful, Thank Harmony, you. Thank and you. it was so good. But now you had some controversy making that project. Did I ever. Share some about that. Oh, man. So yeah, so if I go away, you know, it took me three years to shoot that video. Mm -hmm. um, my goodness, I, I just could not get access to the things that I had needed and I prayed for and God had given me this vision. And uh, you know, I needed helicopter, I needed, high, I needed high speed chase, I needed a prison cell, I needed officers, I needed SWAT team, I needed CIA and snipers, I needed all this crazy <laughs> thing, you know, every kid's dream, you know. And so I'm sitting there thinking of this big wild, uh, just extravagant storyline and, and music video, which will eventually become a movie. Um, and I just needed help. And so three years went by. I ended up uh, coming into contact with a special woman uh, who was the head of law enforcement in, in Precinct 5 of Dallas. And she uh, had me come to her office and we talked and it was just, you know, a great time together. And she really, really felt my story. She felt my heart for God and she wanted to help me. She is actually one of the few uh, uh, genuine uh, people who love the Lord who are in politics. And, um, you know, there was a re-election period that wasn't too far away, and there were some people that just could not stand her. They did not like her not 
fitting in the box of politics and she just did not want to be that person. And so she would constantly go against what, you know, politics wants, the lies and the corruption, and she would just tell the truth. So she had some opponents that wanted her position and wanted her out. Mm -hmm. And so they got wind that she was doing this project down the grape, uh, down the vine. And what ended up happening was they, after me, we had released the trailer for that music video, uh, that person had first contacted the Dallas Observer, and they tried to paint her, and even, I think, said something kind of off with me, too. They were like, white Christian rapper, weird Christ rap video. Mm -hmm. Like, they tried to make it, you know, kind of in a negative light. Mm -hmm. And so that was the first thing. And then um, uh, their opponent, her opponents had sent it over, and it got picked up by ABC News and then CBS News. And it was all in hopes of destroying her mm -hmm. and bringing her out of office and replacing her with someone who wasn't going to hold the godly standards and things that she was that she truly was trying to hold up. And so, you know, it kept just going and going and going. Every time I took looked around, my project and, and the situation was on another news channel. <laughs> and so I'm just like, well, this is great for exposure. <laughs> and so um, what ended up happening was God took that the heart intention of those people to wipe her out and he used that to reach multitudes of people with not just my music the message behind my story um, and the gospel that uh, you know was clearly introduced to people when they go to look me up but it also touched so many people that she would be willing because you know there's so much controversy with cops mm -hmm. and killings mm -hmm. and black on white and mm -hmm. white on black and all this crazy mm -hmm. you know racial stuff and these officers that I had out, it was beautiful because I had black officers, mm -hmm. I had white officers, mm -hmm. I had Mexican officers, mm -hmm. I had a very beautiful blend of different races and people groups, nationalities and languages that were a part of this video. Yeah. And we came together and they didn't ask for any money. Mm -hmm. Those officers, they came out free. They mm -hmm. wanted to do this. They volunteered their mm -hmm. time and we had a blast. We were actually working with people in the video that were in a safe house. They had just got released from prison. Some of them had did 20, 20 plus years wow. and had just got released. Wow. And, the, and the owners of that facility allowed them, you know, with supervision, mm -hmm. but they came out and they were, a, a, they were able to be a part of the If I Go Away video playing the drug dealers and things that were in that video and it blessed them tremendously. Wow. And wow. ministered to them. So what the enemy took and wanted to destroy yes. your project and destroy that woman's reputation. Mm -hmm. Instead, it just got you a lot of coverage, a lot of attention drawn to the project. Yes. And how beautiful is that, that the community came together, our officials came together, and, and because of their love for people, yeah. yes. even if they were Christians or non-Christians, I'm sure you had non-Christians in there. That was true. But their love for people and wanting to turn their lives around for the better, they yes. came and joined with you on this. Now, not many artists can say that, Armony. No. Not many uh, projects can boast of that. So that was really an awesome miracle. It was beautiful. And, and you know, at the end of that, what, what even made me feel so, so good about it, too, even though she had gotten negative light from these people who were trying to wipe her out, at the end, God put her back in office. Yes. She won the election. Yes. And that was just such a great testimony to her, to everyone that was there. And, you know, even to this day, um, the interviews and things for that particular project still are arising. Mm -hmm. You know, just got off of an interview in Cali and TBN and KSLA. My, mm -hmm. my hometown did a documentary on my life, so it's been amazing. Awesome, awesome. Well, now, I want to talk with you. Uh, our viewers probably don't know that you are a single dad, mm -hmm. and you're raising a wonderful son named Nakai. Yeah. So I want you to briefly share about his role in your projects. Yeah, well, Nakai... Nakai is a major inspiration to my music, to my life. Um, more than he knows, uh, I try to always tell him how important he is and how proud I am of him. I love him very, very, very much. Um, you know, as father and son, uh, in, our, in our relationship, we are father and son, but we are also best friends. We really, truly try to do the best to help each other. And, you know, you have your conflicts and, and dis disagreements at times, but me and Nakai, we love each other, and Nakai has inspired my music so much. The st some of the storylines of my music on our way here, uh, we were, we're writing a song together called oh, nice. Gift, Gift from Heaven. Mm -hmm. And the message of that song is how Nakai 
in my life is a gift from heaven and how I, in his life, in his own words, he's, I'm not helping him, I'm not <laughs> writing the lyrics, Kai, you write that. And he is doing a wonderful job. He is almost finished with his verse wow. telling the world about how his dad, to him, is a gift from heaven. Praise God. So he Praise has just God. been a blessing to me, a motivation in my life, an inspiration. He keeps me on my toes. He's full of energy. He just, you know, he always wants to do something. He always wants to go and he keeps me alive. He keeps mm -hmm. me moving. He keeps me strong. He keeps my strength because, you know, we can, we can grow old and just, <laughs> you know, shrivel up and not do anything. But, but when you have grandchildren or children or people in your life that keep you on your toes, keep mm -hmm. you moving, keep your energy mm -hmm. flowing, it helps you feel and stay young, mm -hmm. you know, and, and kind has been that for me and so much more and I, yeah. I just love him so well, much. Well he's quite a little dancer so share, uh, some, name some of the projects that he's actually been in. Yeah, Nakai, uh, Nakai actually when I go and do shows or, or ministry he comes with me. Mm -hmm. So Nakai, uh, he was actually in the last music video that I did called Come Home. Okay. He was in there and he got in this iced out gorgeous blue Hummer. Uh, in the center of, of a junkyard crazy video, got to see the come home video. <laughs> and so he was in there and he was rapping and he was just in the moment and the thing in the in the driver's seat and then he was in the passenger seat and then he was doing his thing on the hood of the Hummer and he was just all over the map. But he had such a great time, you know, being a part of that project. And uh, and every time that I've done a project, Nakai has been there in one way or another to help or to assist that project. Um, all my music videos, Nakai has been present and um, he has been um, a phenomenal uh, asset in helping keeping things going. You know, hi dad, you need anything? Dad, can I help you with anything? You know, he's always there to help. His heart is definitely in the right place and I have no problem. I am unashamed to tell the whole world that I love my son <laughs> and would encourage fathers that you know, they are not experiencing that with their kids. You know, a yeah. lot of ki fathers, they leave their kids, man. They, 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 they don't take the responsibility there. I just could not be that man. And so, you know, there's so much. I encourage anybody, any father who might be listening to this that has, for whatever reason, you know, cut ties with your children, um, fix that, man. Yeah. You miss out on so, so much. And, and it might not feel like you're going to regret it. I promise you, in the name of Jesus, you will regret that time that you've lost. However, mm -hmm. if you are willing, if you're willing to make the effort and to get in your children's life and to fix what you've missed, I truly, truly believe that God multiplies that time and he, he takes back the years that were stolen, mm -hmm. you know? Amen, amen. Well, Harmony, I just can't wait till my schedule allows me to be in another one of Let's your great projects. Let's do it. Projects. I can't. I have to make you the star. <laughs> no, Teresa Westbrook, no, time I'll, with... I'll be just a featured extra. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she wants to be the fly on the wall who's not in the spotlight, but I want to put her in the spotlight. Oh, but it's always a joy. It's yeah. always a joy Amen. to be part of what you're doing. And I just want you to know I appreciate you being the positive influence that you are to our Thank world you. to change lives Thank and you. shining the light of Jesus on dark circumstances that people find themselves in. Just want to thank you for lifting up Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. Amen. Now, now let me have one of these. You can have one. Uh, now we'll have Harmony's information up on the screen where you can reach him and you can find all of his projects there at his website. And more mm -hmm. is coming. More is coming. We couldn't mm -hmm. tell it all. Mm -hmm. We took two shows and still can't tell it all. But <laughs> Harmony, before we go, uh, just for about a minute, I would like you to look at your camera. And I want you to like you to say a prayer for our viewers, whatever the Lord's laid on your heart for someone that's watching. Okay, yeah, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you so much for each and every person that is watching us through their television screen. Lord God, you know exactly where they are. And I, I have confidence that uh, with as many viewers that are watching this, there are many, many people of many different ages, many different races, in many different places in life. And Lord God, I know that you raised me up. I know that you touched me and healed my heart. You healed my mind. You healed my body. You healed my emotions. And Father, for those who are watching right now, I know that I know that you are listening to my prayer.
I know that you follow me wherever I go. And I know, God, that you've given me the faith to trust and believe your promises for other people. Lord, I pray your blessings upon each viewer here, wherever they are, if they be in a hotel room, if they be in their home, if they be in a hospital bed. Lord, that Amen. your presence, God, that you would release the spirit of peace into yes. their room, wherever they are right now, God, that you would hug them, that you would let them know, God, that they are not forgotten, that they are special, and that you care about them, Lord. Regardless of their circumstance, God, we bless them and thank you for their life, God. Have your way in their life right now. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Harmony, oh, for no that. No problem. No problem. Appreciate it. And thank you for coming today. And we wish you much continued success in all your future I endeavors. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, keep watching Time with Teresa for more inspirational programming and exciting guests. God bless you.